Good day, learners! Welcome to our day one, Plants and Animals in a Given Environment. Match the plant or animal to the correct environment. Frog Butterfly Ant Fish Earthworm Why do some plants and animals live only in a certain environment? What would happen if a fish lived in the garden instead of the pond or aquarium? Today, we will explore our surroundings and identify plants and animals that live in different environments. What are environments? An environment is the place where living things live and grow. Examples Ponds, Forest, Garden, and Aquarium. Plants and animals in different environments. Ponds, Lily pads, Frogs, Algae, Fish. Snails and dragonfly. School garden. Birds. Ants. Gumamella. Earthworms. Butterflies and trees. Aquarium. Goldfish. Water plant. Snail and guppies forest tall trees monkeys snakes ferns birds why do we need to identify them to understand how living things interact, to protect and take care of them, to see how each living thing has a role in its environment. What is an environment? Can you name plants and animals in a garden? Can you name plants and animals in a pond? Why is it important to identify the plants and animals in our surroundings? How should we treat the plants and animals in our environment? An environment is where living things are found. Each environment has its own plants and animals. We should learn to identify them so we can appreciate and care for them. Let's try this. Choose the correct answer from the word pool. Write the word that best completes each sentence on the blank provided. Let's try this drawing activity. Always remember, an environment is where living things live and grow. Each environment has different plants and animals. 
plants and animals depend on each other for food and shelter. We should take care of our environment so plants and animals can survive. Welcome to our day two. Non-living things on land and their importance to living things. Are these alive? Do plants and animals need them? Today, we will learn about non-living things on land and how they help plants and animals survive. What are non-living things? Non-living things are they do not eat, grow, move, or reproduce. Examples, soil, rocks, sunlight, water, and air. How do they help living things? Soil gives plants a place to grow. Some animals live in it. Rocks provide shelter for small animals. Prevent soil from washing away. Water helps plants grow. Animals drink it to survive. Air. Plants need air to make food. Animals need air to breathe. Sunlight gives energy for plants to grow, gives warmth to animals. What are examples of non-living things on land? How does soil help plants and animals? Why is sunlight important? Can plants and animals live without non-living things? Why? Plants and animals need non-living things like soil, rocks, water, air, and sunlight to live and grow. Let's try this. Write through if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Let's try this. Fill in the blanks using the word pool. Always remember, non-living things on land include soil, rocks, water, air, and sunlight. They are important because plants and animals cannot live without them. Welcome to our Day 3. Non-living things in a water environment and their importance. What can you see in the water? Do you think all things in water are alive? Not all things in the water are living. Some are non-living. But they are very important to plants and animals. What is a water environment? Water environment, it is a place where water is found, such as rivers, ponds, lakes, and seas.
non-living things in a water environment. Water, home for fish, turtles, and plants, needed for animals to drink. Rocks and sand provide shelter for crabs, snails, and small fish. Sunlight helps underwater plants make food. Air, oxygen in water. Fish and other animals need it to breathe. Why are they important? Without water, no fish or plants can live. Without rocks and sand, animals will have no hiding places. What are examples of non-living things in a water environment? How does water help living things? Why do fish need air in the water? Why are rocks and sand important? Can plants and animals in water survive without these non-living things? Non-living things in a water environment like water, rocks, sand, sunlight, and air help plants and animals live and grow. Let's try this. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Let's try this. Drawing activity. Life in water. Always remember, non-living things in water are water, rocks, sand, sunlight, and air. They are important because plants and animals in water cannot live without them. Welcome to our day four. How plants and animals depend on each other and on the environment. A bird dressed on a tree. It eats fruits from the tree. The tree grows because it gets sunlight, water, and air from the environment. The bird and the tree both need each other and the environment to survive. What did the bird get from the tree? What did the tree get from the environment? Today, we will learn how plants and animals depend on each other and on their environment. Plants and animals depend on each other. Plants give food and oxygen to animals. Animals give carbon dioxide and sometimes help plants grow. Example, bees help flowers through pollination. Plants and animals depend on the environment. Sunlight. Plants need it to make food. Water. Both plants and animals need it to survive. Air. Animals breathe oxygen. Plants need carbon dioxide. Soil. Plants grow in it. Some animals live in it. Shelter. 
trees, rocks, and other parts of the environment give animals a home. How do plants help animals? How do animals help plants? What things from the environment do they both need? Can plants and animals live without the environment? Why? Plants and animals depend on each other and on the environment. Without one, the others cannot survive. Let's try this. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it's not. Let's try this. Fill in the blanks using the word pool. Always remember, plants, animals, and the environment depend on each other. Plants give animals food and oxygen. Animals help plants by pollination, seed spreading, and giving carbon dioxide. Both plants and animals need sunlight, air, water, and soil to survive. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.